Now, Dr. Keith again. Now, we're going on beyond sugar and we're going to move into what's called insulin resistance. Now, that is a bit related, but not entirely. Uh, you know, glucose in your blood can come from anywhere or any kind of food, starch substances, for example, uh, breads and things like that, where there's no sugar added, but it gets converted to sugar by the body. Now, if your blood sugar levels rise too much, your body will produce a substance called insulin. This is secreted, well, mainly, mainly by the pancreas anyway. And that's designed to bring down your blood glucose levels. But if you really hammer this and go on having cream, donuts, and uh, biscuits, pastry, muffins, cakes, all those good things that everyone gets addicted to, so, and of course soft drinks, sodas as the Americans call them, uh, that means you're taking on a deadly load of sugar and your body has trouble fighting it, it produces more and more insulin. See, the, the insulin is to persuade the cells to absorb the sugar and turn it into fat. That's one of the reasons we go fat when we eat a diet that's too sugary, too much sweet food, too much junk and gunk. Uh, you'll go fat because the mechanism is designed to do that. But they will eventually reach a point where the poor old body just can't cope anymore. It's pouring out insulin and still the blood sugar's rising and rising. It's supposed to be about 100 to 120 for health, and even below that if you can master it. But I've seen people with blood sugar levels of 3 and 400. That's sort of dying 15, 20 years young level. I mean, that's seriously bad. And the problem, and your body's producing so much insulin, but the blood sugar's high because it can't cope anymore. It's like it's not listening to the insulin. So we call this condition insulin resistance. No matter how much insulin is produced, the body can't make it work and can't extract the blood sugar and turn it into fat, even if you're already monstrously fat. There comes a point when this mechanism breaks down. So insulin resistance, it's deadly, and your fasting insulin level, in other words, what is your insulin level when you don't need it because there isn't much sugar around, uh, is a fairly good indicator of when you're going to die, frankly. <laughs> I couldn't put it any more, you know, any softer or more gentle than that. But look, this is the point, and this is why I'm bringing it up. Insulin, in its own right, is inflammatory. If I was to, you know, I'm not a diabetic, I don't take insulin. If I was to swallow or inject myself, I should say, with insulin, it's going to start inflaming my arteries. It really tears up the lining of your blood vessels. So it puts you right in the frame for heart attacks, blood clots, uh, stroke, all of those bad things just because of the insulin itself. Well, you know what's crazy, of course, most doctors consider insulin the treatment. So they're giving this deadly inflammatory substance called insulin as a treatment for the fact that you eat too much sugar. Sorry, but this doesn't make sense. Just eat less sugar, then you don't need the insulin, then you don't get the inflammation, therefore you'll live longer. So listen, I've explained it to you. If you want to know more about insulin resistance, there's some good books on this. And I can tell you in principle, the keto diet is a very good answer to this because the keto diet is about having no sugar in your blood. Not no, you can't live with no sugar. But switching over from lots, you know, hundreds of milligrams of uh, blood sugar that your brain and body is feeding on, you turn that tap off and your body will feed on ketone bodies instead. And funnily enough, the brain likes ketones to live on. It makes it feel fresh, lively, alert. It's very much what the brain wants. So, out with insulin resistance, keto dieting or intermittent fasting. It right, cycles around to one of the earlier talks, you know, obesity, it all comes together. You know, less sugar, less manufactured food, lose weight, get rid of insulin resistance and it'll all come to good in the end. If you don't, then you're just going to get inflamed and inflamed till you start having, you know, pancreatitis, arthritis, diabetes itself is an inflammatory disease, Alzheimer's is an Ill inflammatory disease. Listen, even cancer has an inflammatory element. So the last thing you want going on in your body is inflammation.